let's move on to our next example. Our next example is example number one. Now I've chosen example number one as my second example because I think it, had, it was a little bit trickier than the first one. Okay, so let's continue. The problem reads, calculate the points where F and G intersect for X an element from minus 180 degrees to plus 180 degrees. Example 1 is still on that same page. Eh? And we need to calculate the points where F and G intersect. So, what do we know? We know that when two graphs intersect, the two graphs will be equal to each other. Therefore, 1 plus sine x must be equal to cos 2x. The reason the, you need to show the calculation because they're asking you to show the calculation. So let's have a look at this. This is fine. But what is this? This happens to be a double angle. And if you don't know how to convert that double angle, the formula sheet, you always have help in the exam. So on page one of your resource sheet, you can page forward and you can give me a substitute for cos 2x. So it becomes 1 plus Yes, did you find my replacement? What should it be? 1 minus 2 sine squared of x. Please note how your general knowledge comes into play here. Because if you can't do this, you will struggle forever to solve this equation. We know that it seems like a quadratic equation, so everything must be on the left-hand side. So 2 sine squared x plus 1 plus sine x minus 1 equals naught. Plus 1 and minus 1 will cancel each other. I do have a common factor, which is sine x. And I'm left with 2 sine x plus 1 equals 0. Ah, the rest we know. Sine x is equal to 0 or 2 And sine x, in this case, becomes minus one half. All we need to do is find the angle. This one, easy. I know x must be equal to no degrees. Or it can be 180 degrees as well. In this particular case, I need the negative angle. Whether you use the idea of all stations to Cape Town, then you realize that I can only be in this quadrant and in that quadrant because it's plus 180, no negative angles there, but in this angle and in this angle, I can get negative angles if I move this way. So therefore, my angle would be in that quadrant, which gives me minus 30 degrees. Special angles. So, your special angles and your double angles came as an application integrated with your graphs. So we've got the minus 30 and we have the two x values. Let's move on to question two. Draw the graphs, sketch graphs of F and G for x an element from minus 180 to plus 180 on the same system of axes. 
We just did cos 2x a minute ago. All yours. Can you draw G first? And then we'll tackle F together. So one minute to get your axis ready and draw quickly. I'll reveal mine shortly. You have one minute. I made sure I had my intervals correct this time around. I'm sure we can continue now. Two periods, so one complete cycle over 180 degrees. That is what we need. The second one, that is graph G that I just drew in. Graph F is sine x plus 1 or 1 plus sine x. So it's the basic sine graph that normally starts here, normally would have started here at the origin, but it's going to move one unit up. So it will do this. I know it must go up there and it will land there because it's one unit up and it will come one unit down as well. There you go. There I have my two graphs in. And I'm sure that wasn't all that difficult. Very little to remember. The only thing that plays a big role is the fact that you need to know what that 1 plus sign is and cos 2x means to you and then we can work it from the basic graph. That value, by the way, there happens to be 1. Okay, my next question is for which values of x will f of x be less than g of x for x an element from minus 90 to plus 90. In plain language, it is asking me, where will f be below g? Where will f be below g? So let's have a look at my graph once again. My f is the blue graph and g is my black graph. I hope you people can see the colors. The blue graph is below the G only for this little piece here. There we go. We calculated that this point of intersection was where again? Oh yes, it started at my minus 30 degrees. And the next point of intersection was at no degrees. So it is my answer lies between these two values. Therefore, I will say that x lies between 30 degrees, minus 30 degrees, and no degrees. Not too difficult. But watch out for one point. Question similar to 1.1. And we'll chat about that later again. 1.1 was definitely, we had a little, a little tricky point there where they asked you to calculate the points and they threw in that double angle there. And you had to make use of that information to get to the points of intersection because that information was valuable on your graph. Okay, 
Once again, just to show you a neater version of my graph, example one, F, and there's G. Can you see that where F is below G, starting from minus 30, and it ends at zero. Only that little piece was below G. And I'm showing you this graph merely because my drawings is definitely not the best in this world.